All right, everybody, welcome. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next skill. Uh, today we're gonna talk about and work with emergency weight drop. Okay, so we're gonna learn what to do if we're at the surface uh, on the ocean and you know you feel that you might go underwater. What you have to do is simply to drop your weights. By doing this, then you'll become positively buoyant. Okay. So today we're gonna work with different types. I know some of you have weight belts and some of you have integrated weights, okay? So we have different types that we're gonna work with. Uh, I will also demonstrate both methods, okay? The objective today is that in water too deep to stand up in, uh, which is gonna be the deep end, uh, we are going to start with a deflated BCD. We'll let the air out a little bit to simulate that we are going underwater and we're struggling to stay afloat. And then after this, uh, using our weight system quick release, which is the right hand release for uh, you, Kelly, uh, on your weight belt. And for you, Kelly, the uh, integrated weights, that would be ditching those. Today, uh, Kelly's gonna help us uh, underwater to make sure that we don't drop uh, hard weights uh, at the bottom of the pool, maybe scratching the pool, so we'll just be careful. Um, the way we're going to do this, we'll uh, swim uh, to the deep end. I'll ask you to have your snorkel in your mouth. We'll swim at the surface. Uh, once we get there, uh, we are going to switch to regulators. And then you will look at uh, the demonstration. Uh, we'll demonstrate both using the um, uh, weight belt as well as using the uh, integrated weights. Okay? Once I've done the demonstration, then it's going to be your turn. Uh, Kelly here is going to be underwater, very close to you, especially you, Kelly, because you have the weight belt. So it's going to be next to you. Don't worry about this, you know. And when you remove your belt, when you let it go, uh, Kelly is going to grab it. Okay. okay? So that's Perfect. just to uh, preserve the, uh, the bottom of the pool. Uh, in your case, uh, Kelly, what you do is when you're going to remove your uh, weight integrated system here, the pouches, um, that you can just let them go. Okay, it's not okay. gonna hurt the pool. That'd be good. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I think we're set. Any question? No. Ready to go? go? I think yeah. we're good to go, Kelly. All right. Awesome. All right, well done, Kelly. Okay, we're back. Uh, good job, good job. Uh, Kelly Y, you did a very nice job there. I like, uh, really like the way uh, when you remove the pouch, you know, you made sure it was away from you. So, before dropping it. Always looking down, good job. Uh, quite nicely done. Yeah, yeah. 
So Kelly IE, well done, I like that. You did a very nice job as well. Uh, at first I saw that uh, you kind of opened the belt and you left it like that. Uh, we want to be careful with this and, and truly remove it away from the body. Uh, this way it doesn't get entangled, maybe it gets caught on something, you know, and you can't really get rid of it. So it's very important to, uh, to pull it away from the body and then you can drop it. Okay. Uh, but uh, otherwise, you know, I think it went very well. Um, we can certainly use that every time we are diving uh, as a safety precaution. You know, if you're at the surface, if you can't get uh, neutrally buoy uh, uh, positively buoyed by inflating your BCD or you have any doubt, you know, you know now that you can uh, drop your weight. So, uh, good job. Well done. Anything to add, my friend? Oh, I think you did a great job. Uh, Kelly with a line. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, so many Kellys.